Okay. You'll never believe where, where were you? He's he's definitely doing the ascended master thing. He's not visible in the light spectrum. <laughs> oh, we're live. Live. You can hear me okay, right? Yeah, we can't see you though. Really? Well, we saw your closet. I, I, I doorway. I see that. I see that FedEx. Are you? Where are you? Hello. He's not in front of his camera. But we can't hear you. But that's like half the fun. We want I'm the right, whole party. I'm right in front of the camera, though. Oh, you are ascended then. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, I want One minute, Peter. like the raccoon. You know there are a few innocent words that turn a woman What was that? Eight viewers. Hello, people out there. We're getting ready to get started here in a minute. Stay tuned. Can you hear me now? Oh boy. We have the invisible man tonight, folks. We do. That's kind of cool. I <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, some of that stuff we used to do, like. You know, like well, why don't we go ahead and we'll go live and um, we'll hopefully Jason will appear. Is that fair? <laughs> Push rocket. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with uh, what you what you guys are seeing because I I can see me perfectly in the lower right. All right, well we're we're gonna we're gonna kick it off, bro, and um, I'm gonna go into the twelfth project for a little while, so you figure out that end. Um, I'm gonna get you live. That sounds good. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Folks, welcome to the MDM show. Of course, I am the co-host Donna Whittington and our producer and, of course, creator, Peter Shank. He is in the house with us. Yes. We also have Jason Davis. He is with us. And um, hopefully we'll get him on camera, but he is with us. And um, you know how it gets when Peter and Jason are on the show together. It's extremely lively and very energetic. So I always say when these two are on, fasten your seat belts. So um, before I introduce or turn the show over to Peter, I just want to tell folks a little bit what we've got going on and um, regarding the 12th project because this is what the show is about. We are about the 12th project and of course that is the new debuting software that we have to share with you folks tonight. Um, Peter's going to talk a lot a bit about that as well. So, 12th project. We're going to have a huge sale on this because we are debuting it. It's going, it retails normally at $3.97. However, if you have the earlier versions of the 12th project, you can take advantage of that for $1.97. Okay? So for the next 48 hours, we've got the special of 33% off. So of course you're going to want to go to the website and go use the product code 33OFFSHOW. That's only for 48 hours, folks. Okay, 48 hours. That's Tuesday, um, midnight Pacific or Eastern time. So 
Eastern Time. And um, we also have the bundle, the 12th project uh, four. We have the bu the bundle. So with the bundle, it is 957. With that, with that, you get the Saint Germain workshop. You get the Archangel workshop. You get 30 minutes of one-on-one -on -one time with you and Peter. You also get a year phone support. And Peter is throwing in um, the chakra clearing too workshop. That is something that is just unheard of. And it's so he's throwing that in. Now that is also on sale. We're looking at 33% off for the next 48 hours. So you'll definitely want to take, you know, um, take advantage of that as well. All right. Now let me just go back and put the disclaimer in. If you have the earlier program of the 12th project, um, you're going to want to email Peter. So email Peter and then he will get that version to you at that discounted price. And of course, Peter Shank00 at gmail.com if you have the earlier version of the 12.0 project, excuse me, the 12th project. All right. I'm getting all excited because Jason is here. And of course, Peter is always here. And we've got a lot of energy to move around and to talk with you guys. Let me bring Peter on. And uh, Peter, how are you? I'm great, Donna. Thank you. Ready to kick some butt tonight. With some new right? Um, just a little clarity around what you were explaining. Um, so tonight we're giving 33% off for everybody that has not purchased any version of the 12 project okay so the software retails for 397 uh, we're giving you 33 percent right off of that and then we have of course the bundled software which comes um, with some really really cool stuff so the bundle retails for 958 right on the website you get 30 percent off of that which knocks it down to 591 and then i'm giving you in addition to that another 33 percent off okay with that i'm also only for 48 hours i'm kicking in the chakra the chakra clearing two workshop which was phenomenal that one was done earlier in the year um so it's a 12th project 4.0 the St. Germain workshop, the Archangels workshop, which is just absolutely amazing. A half hour with me, and then the Chakra Clearing 2 workshop. Um, it all comes out to around 400. So this deal is good for 48 hours. After that, it's off the table. Uh, everything goes back to retail. So tonight, I have been working my butt off on an amazing new version of the 12th project. Now, I started this venture about seven years ago, and what I wanted to do, so a little bit of history about it. In my belief system, I believe we're all spirit energy living the human experience, and to remember who we are and where we came from, we left ourselves energetic breadcrumbs somewhere. So, hey, there's the man himself. We'll get back to you in a second, brother. Good. <laughs> um, in that, the 12th project was born. The first two iterations of the software contained 12 um, virtual modules based on the gods of Olympus, okay? And I used them because they're in the human consciousness grid. And basically, the premise of version one and two were you would charge the water, consciously directing it into the target water, and you would drink three or four ounces two or three times a day for two or three days and a virtual chakra would physically or etherically appear outside your body with information for you and you would then you know connect with it and get it so version three came along a couple of years ago and i decided to put in the seven physical chakras okay so what you're going to see here in a moment is version four version four is utilizing the most potent version of the aquaware four engine i spent four months creating this piece of software. It is a complete rewrite from the ground up. But, um, for those of you that own any of the other versions, you're in for a real treat tonight. We're going to be doing some live activations. Uh, I'll be showing you on the physical chakra level and on the virtual chakra level how this technology works. Uh, so, you guys ready to rock it? Nah. 
let's just talk to Jason for a while. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to share out my screen, and this is the first time live uh, anyone is has seen um, this product, and I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, can you guys see that? Donna? Okay, so you can see the software coming up? Not yet. Is my screen sharing out? Hmm. There you go. All right, there we go. So, again, this is version 4 of a venture that started 11 years ago with Jason. Um, this is version 4 of the 12th project. You'll notice right out of the gate it's completely balanced unlike the earlier versions. Um, on the getting started palette we have the typical stuff, we have the MDM website, we have the community which I'd like to thank David Shear. Um, David has been very diligent in answering questions for people on on the uh, on the community forums where I've really fallen short because of my busy schedule. I just honestly I don't have time to answer the questions, and he is um, the go-to guy for it. He's very versed in all the software. Um, the instruction manuals is a PDF. It's online. We have uh, video tutorials. The twelfth project general overview, which I'm showing you now, and then the usage, which I'll show you in a minute as we get into some live activations with it. Um, all the contact social media stuff. Um, this particular piece of software is one executable, meaning in all the other versions, um, there were actually 20 different programs put together with a central menu. Uh, the technology wasn't available for me to put the heart uh, the Aquaware engine into it um, until version 4 Aquaware was born and now this piece of software is really sporting the latest version. Um, okay, so this is the Virtual 12. You'll notice that all of the names are based on the gods of Olympus. Again, they are in the human consciousness grid. Uh, all the frequencies have changed. All the dynamics have changed within the software. So tonight we're going to be doing a couple live activations using the virtual 12 first, and then we will move over to the physical 7. So I'd like everyone to get out a glass of water. Now the premise across all the software is always the same. Where you put your attention, the intention will go. You need to approach all the technology from with a childlike mind. Okay, it's consciousness when it's opened up and you are connecting with it. It wants to get to know who you are, it wants to play with you. Okay, there is no work involved in any of this, it's all very simple. Once you click on the God of Choice, and they're really in a specific order for you to get a maximum impact, um, by the way, um, you just put your attention on the water. And three things will happen. Water preparation will run. Water preparation will remove the energy and the memories from wherever the water has been, returning it to a pristine state. Second part that runs for 8.1 seconds is user preparation. What does it do? It creates a thin layer in the water that opens up the subconscious mind for acceptance. And then the next part of that runs is the actual nucleating of the water which runs for 18.1 seconds and that is programming the water um, with that particular god or frequency. So we'll start off with, I don't know Donna, who do you want to start off with? We'll do two from the virtual 12. Which one do you want to use? <laughs> you gotta unmute yourself kid. I know. <laughs> I know. Um... Ooh. Michael. Michael? Say Michael. Oh no no. On the twelfth on the on the uh, on the menu. Oh I'm sorry. What These are the gods of Olympus, <laughs> not the archangels. I can't All see right. this. Alright, we'll start off with Hera. Okay? Again, I'll count backwards. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
where your attention goes, the intention will go. Here we go, folks, for the first time live. Three, two, one. Water preparation is now nucleating the water for 8.1 seconds. User preparation is now nucleating the water for 8.1 seconds. And now Hera is running. So again, we are programming the water with a virtual chakra. Three to four ounces, two to three times a day, up to three days, opens up a virtual chakra outside the body containing information or breadcrumbs that you had left. Now, like everyone to go ahead and drink as much water as you want and notice the taste and the texture of it. Okay, Donna, you want to pick another one? Not a country singer. It's a god of Olympus. <laughs> Mm, yes. My glasses. Okay. Um, let's go with the. You know what? It's not clear to me, but the one with the fire. The middle one. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see, folks. I. And I you know what? I can't pronounce this one. I'm having a brain fart. But it's spelled there for you, folks. So here we go. Again, new glass of water. <laughs> Three, two, one. Where your attention goes, the intention will go. Water preparation is running for 8.1 seconds. User preparation is running for 8.1 seconds. We are creating a thin veil. Now we are nucleating the water with this particular uh, oh my god I cannot even pronounce that I'm totally drawn a blank all right well okay everyone go ahead and drink as much as you like now we're gonna move to the physical seven a physical seven, uh, again, I said we're at it in version three. These are really, really powerful. These are physically chakra based. You can use them for cleaning. You can use them for tuning. Um, if you do get the bundle, I suggest you do the chakra clearing two workshop first to really clean everything out. Uh, you can use these as much as you want. Um, there's some, you know, basic guidelines within the instructions on how you should use them. Um, I'm going to pick these ones, Donna. These are chakras, not country singers or um, archangels, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to do solar plex chakra. So if anyone's got to go to the bathroom, now's a good time. Again, folks, we're doing the solar plex chakra. Where you put your attention, your intention will go. The properties that by which govern the software um, it doesn't matter where the target water is where you put your attention the intention will go it can be a glass of water next to your computer it could be a case of water uh, in your refrigerator it can be a body of water on the other side of the planet or it can be a cup of coffee on Mars it does not matter here we go folks for the first time in the physical seven we are doing the solar plex chakra Three, two, one. Where your attention goes, the intention will go. And again, if you have, you know, if you have used any of the other versions of the software, I know you're feeling this. Again, this is a complete rewrite, uh, kind of like a digital remaster from the ground up. Again, nucleating the solar plex for 18.1 seconds. Go ahead and drink as much as you want. Notice the taste and the texture. And then we're going to take a little 30-second break here, and I want everyone to kind of start feeling that solar plex chakra. Okay, I'm going to 
going to do one more here. We're going to do the third eye. This is always a fun one. So again, folks, where you put your attention, the intention will go. Here we go. We are now nucleating the water with third eye chakra. Eighteen point one seconds. I just gave a little extra kick to my coffee tonight. <laughs> okay, like everyone to go ahead and drink as much as you like. Again, this is the twelfth project four dot Twelve virtual chakras outside the body, seven physical chakras inside the body. Um, we're going to move this over to the next part of the show, but I'll answer any questions as we move through the show. Um, so, over to you, Donna. Okay. Well, that was pretty, um, pretty awesome, pretty powerful. Let me do a quick check to see if we've got questions in either Facebook or on the YouTube. Um, we've got some comments. And of course, Anthony, Anthony, open arms, K. And Anthony is saying um, he's commenting on the energy that is flowing. So, yeah, feeling it. So, Anthony, give us a shout out either in Facebook or in YouTube as to how you how you're feeling. That'd be awesome. And um, I think that's pretty about it right now, Peter. That's okay. Jason, what's up, my brother? He's on. Let's let's un unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> I did that all day long, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to, bud? Have you guys ever seen that that video? That's the uh, live conference call. They're they're actually in a room and uh, they go through all of the problems that you have in a conference call, like barking dogs and things like that. <laughs> Look it up; it's actually hilarious. Um, Oh, amazing stuff. Absolutely amazing stuff. Way powerful alchemy and things that just rock my world, and I'm pretty blown. And, uh, you know, what I've been up to lately, I can't really publicly talk about at all. <laughs> oh, come on. Just a little wet whistle. Oh, boy. Let's see. How to characterize that? That would be... Um, Let's see. I'm seeing impossible things happen in the furnace. And I'm seeing things uh, that are coming out of the furnace that, you know, are, are just impossible. And I, I happen to be uh, working with a guy that's a metallurgy student. And, and some of what we're seeing uh, in terms of results under the electrons, you know, the scanning electron microscope and uh, x-ray diffraction. And soon we're going to be running it through x-ray fluorescence. And, and a lot of these things are being done by, you know, professor level people and, and um, uh, density tests and you know there there's stuff going on that I, I just I can't believe. So there's a probably going to be a lot of new listeners tonight. Can you just give a little bit about your background and how we came into being and what you've been doing? Uh, well, you know, I started into the alchemy into alchemy at least in this embodiment. 18, 19 years ago, and it was probably about six, eight months into my first explorations of that, 
that I realized I was, you know, in fact, in using an alchemical product, it opened me up to the fact that I had a bunch of teachers standing around me, uh, guiding what I was doing, and it was the most palpable experience of, of you know, uh, extra density beings that on the scene show me how to do what to do, and, and the rest is history. I just, you know, started selling it all, and, and you came uh, on the scene, what, 11 years ago? and uh, amped up a lot of what happened, you know, during that time, and we explored some incredible alchemical things, like the, the you know, we, we, we looked at Icarus and, and Prometheus, and, and then I, I began to realize as an example that, that we had some correspondence with the way Isaac Newton was exploring alchemy, and, you know, that was his highest priority. If you remember right, I mean, he yeah, he invented and wrote the calculus, but his higher priority by far was alchemy. He was an alchemist, and he was also a member of the secret societies, and he was decoding Greek mythology in order to come up with the recipes. And so, you know, when we were doing that work back then, that was that was some pretty fascinating stuff, and. And then uh, in the last video, you might recall, Merlin came online and basically took over my body and, and uh, rendered a bunch of alchemy um, that is still just incredible material. But, uh, you know, from there, I'm just getting deeper into the, into the universal mysteries now. And that's, that's why it's really impossible to talk about it. I want to I want to amp this up. Would you be um would you be open to working with people on a live call? Sure. All right. All right, folks, we're just going to jump around tonight cuz me and Jason are total ADD, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh the phone number you can call in on, but when you call in on this number, you have to be away from your computer. Okay, you can't be around it or we, we get a really nasty feedback. Bad that, number, that number is 203-456-8155. It's your time to talk to Jason Davis or myself. Um, if you have an issue, we can help you clear up. Uh, we can jump in and bring some really cool stuff to bear. Again, it's 203-456-8155. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Push those buttons. Dial those digits. Don't be afraid. You know, I'm, just, I'm just gonna call myself, so we don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Mary, give Peter a call. Will you and ask him a question. <laughs> of course, right. we know there's that delay. So, oh my God, Voila. the matrix is ringing. <laughs> it's like follow the white rabbit. Hi, this is Peter. You're live with me and Jason. Yeah, hi, this is Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi. Yeah. I just tuned in. I barely know what the program is about. Um, what do you want me to sort of you want me to just tell me what want me to tell you what I'm dealing with around healing? Uh sure. Yeah, well, I've had, um, still getting over chronic fatigue and dealing with abundance and financial issues. Um, I don't know how much detail you want or if you just want to kind of tune in to where I'm at. How old are you? I'm going to kick this one over to you, Jason. Okay. Do you want details from him? Yeah. Age, uh, when which difficulties began, stuff like that. Just briefly. Uh, it's been just gradually throughout my life from childhood problems and chronic fatigue being an accumulation of a lot of physical things and, um, you know, an emotional thing too. I guess you probably speaking more of the emotional, uh, energetic things. And uh, are you um, using uh, Peter's software, any of them? 
Yeah, I've been using some of Peter's software doing the uh, Fabes Remain recording, which uh, uh, sort of for uh, just speak the land uh, um, program of his. And you've been using them to address these issues? Yeah, mostly the uh, I feel like it's helping actually getting focused in my business, having more being more productive. Right, but but does fatigue interfere with that? I can barely hear you. He said does uh, fatigue interfere with that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's just my, you know, I'm struggling to get my productivity up, and I'm doing things on a physical level. Yeah, I kind of, I know things to do on a physical level. I'm just trying to get, you know, on, on track, you know, energetically and um, be able to connect with people, to, you know, serve them as, as clients and um, make some money in the process and dealing with a lot of negative thoughts, you know, Repetitive negative thoughts about conflicts with people, you know, that's always something that comes up too much. Right. Um, well, I, you know, I'm sure Peter's got a, a, a more concise and acute take than I do, uh, than I have on this, but, you know, um, all of all difficulties are associated with, with what you have hung up in your subtle fields, and that's it. And it's going to be, you know, either thought or emotion or the combination of the two. And uh, and difficulties can't exist ultimately with somebody who is just very clear. And somebody who is very clear doesn't really care about the things that that uh, most people care about. And with that kind of detachment, then the universe just opens up and gives you whatever you need. But the universe can't do that without, um, you know. While, while your cup is too full with all of the stuff that you've got hung up in your fields. And as a matter of fact, you have a lot of stuff hung up in your fields. And so if I were using Peter's software, what I would do if I were you is focus completely on getting your subtle bodies clear. That was, that's what I would use the, the software for. And, uh, and I would watch um, for any kind of results along those lines, and then I might, you know, I might even probably set an appointment up with Peter to find out, you know, what else needs to be addressed on a more specific level, such as anything that that may need to be addressed consciously. Now, you know, the stuff that's hung up in your fields, you know, goes back a hundred thousand years or more, and. Uh, and therefore, you know, you're just the tip of the iceberg while everything that needs to be cleared away is what's below the surface. And it can be done very easily. It, it really is easy stuff, most of which you don't even have to be aware of. But there can be correspondences in, in what we call past lives, which is really just a really bad way to say that. And, um, and sometimes those correspondences come forward into your present life and have to be looked at consciously. And so uh, that's how I would approach it. And in the meantime, you know, I can, I mean, you might find this mind blowing or whatever. I don't know, but it's just how I work these days. I mean, from you? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just leave you with basically an electrical copy of myself. And every time you pour a glass of water, it will be there to treat it. You need to walk away from your computer. <laughs> yes, I don't want to hear myself. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait, wait. Jason, you said I'm going to leave you with an electrical copy of myself right now. And that just came through on the phone. So it's actually working in real time. Oh. I love working with you, man. Every time we have you on the show, the, the, the coolest stuff happens. Absolutely <laughs> mind blowing. Are you taking a glass of water right now? Yeah. Yeah, just, just all you have to do is pour the water, and the the uh, the me that I left with you already knows what to do to it. Okay. Sounds good. Now he says you have to you have to hold the glass high in your right hand. You have to balance yourself <laughs> on your left foot. <laughs> 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 you have to spilling a drop. 
<laughs> you have to flash a sideways peace sign. <laughs> Wait, Don has got something. <laughs> <laughs> and smile with your eyes only. <laughs> so basically what he's saying is every time um, you drink water now, his, his electronic copy will be with you. Okay. So give it a rock. Send Don an email in a, in, a, in a few days. Let us know how are you doing, and uh, we'll get that on to Jason. Jason, how can people get a hold of you? Through the Super Beings, um, the Super Beings dot net, uh, all one word, except for the dot net. Just the Super Beings. That's the way to do it. Everything centralized there. That's the hub. Easy to contact us. Thank you for calling in. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, folks, we're going we're gonna to do a couple more of these. Um, that number to dial in on is 203-456-8155. 203-456-8155. Jason loves taking phone calls. He's all full of energy tonight. All kinds of weird stuff's happening already. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> It is a blast, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a total trip. Oh, next victim? All right. <laughs> Hi, this is Peter. You're live. Hello. Hi. 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 I've been dialing and getting, getting a battery machine. What is your name? My name is Ruth. Hi, Ruth. You're live with uh, Jason it's Davis it's and myself. Ruth. Ruth. No, Luz. Oh, like love, like light. We'll call you love. How's that? Is that easy? No. No. Yeah, that's good. All right, we'll call you love. All right, love. What can we do for you? <laughs> I came upon you um, last Saturday, and I. And drinking the water. Oh, it's fine, Jason. Right. And my life has gone around in an amazing way. And I got this notification that you're launching this new program, and I've been so happy and thrilled. I've been awaiting it, and I welcome it. And it doesn't matter how much it costs. I've, I've already seen the effects in my field. And the people around me, it's amazing. I am so happy and thrilled. Well, that's awesome. Well, if you um, if you listen to the replay, um, we do have some steep discounts for the next 48 hours on it. Okay, great. Even if you didn't, I'd like you to get whatever it takes. Okay. This is <laughs> Forget so I just said amazing. that. <laughs> I've had revelations, honestly, that have rocked my world. It's only been seven days. I am so grateful. And I spoke with Jason a little bit by email. You. I'm. This is my tribe. Finally, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been using my body, and also, um, of course, the source for. It's amazing. The people that I've been working with and used it with, they are making huge shifts in healing. I get it. I saw the one about the, um, with Ken about the Tesla quantum oh, reality, and I understand now. I get it. It's about frequency, right? That's what we want to do. We want to get to higher and higher frequency to where we can accept everything. And your your beautiful guidance in I honor the place where you exist. As long as I stay in that state, everything is perfect. No, Ruth. I'm talking uh, too much. I hope I'm not. No, no, no. It's fine. Right no. <laughs> I, me and Jason love getting our own uh, horns tooted. It's awesome. Thank you. Actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. It's only yeah. Really, okay. thanks. Have a good evening. Oh, the phone is just totally ringing off the hook now, man. Should we do another one? These are fun. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, we'll do this again. Uh, folks, if you want to call in, 203-456-8155 if you uh, need any help with anything or, um, you know, you want to just stroke mine and Jason's egos that are really non-existent, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's 203-5, I'm sorry, 456-8155. Uh, we're live now. Uh, we'll take your questions. And this is like, this is such an oddity. When I'm on the phone, it doesn't stop ringing. When I get off the phone and want someone to come on the phone, it never rings. <laughs> <laughs> I can't win. Okay, folks, last chance, 203-456-8155. Magic. Boom. Hi, you're live with uh, Jason and Peter. Hi, this is Sandra. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Doing well, how are you? Thank you. Awesome. What can we do for you? Help you with? Um, well, I guess I'm just clueless um, about what I just have to go out and kind of make money, and I just have no idea what I want to even do. I just, like, frozen. Jason, you want to address that one? Then I will. Uh, so you're saying that you just don't know what you want to do to make money? Yeah, I've done lots of things. I mean, I've had a corporate head job. I've been a, a professional dance instructor. Um, I've even been a side gigs. I've done lots of things, but I just never can break through on anything where I can get a sufficient income. Um, I would recommend that you give up. <laughs> and what I mean by that is is uh, just surrender and just say, hey, you know, uh, I'm not at the wheel anymore. Show me what I need to do. And when you say something like that, what you're actually talking to is the is infinite mind. And if an infinite mind does, in fact, have, you know, something for you to do and um, uh, on a conscious level. And that's where I would start, and then just stay wide open to the to the signals and messages that come through. Usually, what's going to to happen? I mean, it's what you can use as a barometer. Is if, for instance, you just determine what excites you more than anything and do that, or determine what love what you love and do that. And one way or another, if you do that, you do it with persistence and faith. You know, it'll just pay off, and that's all there is to it. Thank you, Matt. I'm a little bit. I have difficulty hearing. Um, it's like a big echo. You need to walk away from your computer. Alright, uh, let's see. Jason, can you simplify that in uh, 30 seconds or less? Um, let's wait till she gets away from the computer. I'm not, I'm not near a computer. Oh. Okay. Can can you hear me all right now? I'm on a, I'm on a cell phone. Is that bad? Well, they suck, but you know that's how it goes. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, at this point, Donna would go, Peter. <laughs> Yeah, that, that might actually be the best idea is just to listen to the replay of this recording because, you know, what I told you is the secret to everything. Okay. So that I surrender, just sort of let it go off to the universe and then just listen for answers? Yeah, basically. Okay. But, you know, if, if, anything, if anything at all excites you now or that you love, do that. You know, that's, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll get back to live callers in a little bit. Um, Jason, what else is going on? That's about it. Been pretty focused on on uh, alchemy. 
just deeper, deeper alchemy, some of the really deep stuff. What is alchemy? Say it again. What is alchemy? Oh, oh my god, that's alchemy. It just rang. Hang on. <laughs> Hi, you know, this is Peter. Hi, Peter, this is Annette. Hi, how are you? Fine, are you? I'm doing well. You're live with uh, me and Jason. What can we do for you? Um, I've been working with uh, Aquaware for uh, trying to help a dog which has, uh, he has issues with his ears and with his, his eyes too. The best, the, 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 the best intent in Aquaware to use on pets is under the cleanse and rejuvenate section and it is general. It's called general. It absolutely works magic on animals. Okay. That is that's that's the bomb. That's the one you want to use. And you can okay. I mean you can you can mix that with love too, but um, under cleanse and rejuvenate general is is just absolutely amazing um, for them. Okay, I haven't tried that one. And can I ask something else? Um, uh, I have been trying to help my mom get better. Okay, what's what's going on with your mom? Uh, well, she was diagnosed with uh, dementia, like um, um, maybe I would say maybe ten years ago. And she is now, uh, she has a tracheostomy and she cannot eat, so she has a tube, a feeding tube uh, connected to her stomach. Um, and there has been some kind of improvement, but not as much as I would like her to have. Jason, do you, um, do you want to run with that one? No. Um... You might just want to try charging, you know, um, so Aquaware 4, and again, there's no, there's no health claims implied in any of this, and I'm not a medical practitioner. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Uh -huh. What you might want to try is, um, under the force field intentions, um, creating a humidity bubble, and you would use this, the principle by which the force field intentions work but you would write your own custom intent to surround the body, um, the humidity bubble around the body, thereby um, you know, creating a higher vibe for any fluids that are flowing into her body. Mm, okay. Okay. But would it be like just like... Send me, send, me, send me an email and I will help you write a custom intent for her. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye bye. Okay. Have a great night. Bye bye. Boy, man, you jumped away from that one like the plague. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm um, sorry. Back to alchemy. Uh, you know, when you were asking whatever question you asked, it broke up every time. So. I, didn't I, get the question. I said, what is alchemy? Broad subject, obviously. Um, the way that alchemy works in my uh, you know, lineage, if you will, is, is if you, as just an example, take and disaggregate the metal-to-metal -metal bonds in gold, you can eventually break gold down to a potable substance, and then that potable, you know, consumable substance uh, is actually a light nutrient and is fantastic for the nervous system and stuff like that. And, you know, it was all over the world. Ancient Chinese used it. It was, uh, of course, big in Atlantis, huge in Egypt. And, and what we have left over from from Egypt is basically the lineage that, that um, I, I utilize because naturally, you know, you and I were both uh, players in Egypt and brought for most of that current thought, and um, it happens to, for instance, work with the sun, and so it goes into, 
you know, all of the currents of thought that have to do with, with the sun and sun worship. And, you know, the Egyptians didn't worship the sun so much as that they just knew how to, we knew how to utilize its energy to uh, lift our subtle and gross physical bodies to, you know, levels where we could gain uh, understanding to much, much higher mystical information. And that's, as you know, what it's mainly used for and eventually leads to you know, some extremely high-level um, abilities that you might call supernormal. And that's what's happening with it. Uh, alchemy, by definition, you could say is if you take any two-plus substances and mix them together, what is going to happen? <laughs> and that's kind of what, you know, nobody anywhere on any level knows. I know it happens. <laughs> you, go yeah. from, you go from normal reality into what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, exactly. Well, and you know, and that's that's what it is. Alchemy could be just. I mean, if you were to define it, you could probably just call it the mixing of any two or more substances to see what will happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, but it's you know, as you know, Merlin came on the scene not too long ago and taught me some things, and that's led to some uh, just staggering information. Just staggering. Nice. Um, I'm going to do another live caller, and I, I would like someone to call with a specific issue. It, it can be about anybody or anybody else. That number is 203-456-8155. And Jason, while we're waiting for our phone call, can you please tell people how they can get a hold of you? Through the superbeings.net, and that's just T-H-E-S-U-P-E-R beings. Net. Okay, and again, folks, that number is 203. We got a live one. Hi, you're live with uh, Jason and Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Jason. You guys are. Hello. Who are we speaking with? Hello. Hi. Who are we speaking with? Okay. This is Linda. Hey, Linda. Yes, I'm in Georgia. Okay. Um, um, I wanted to, Peter, I have Aquaware 3, which I do use, and it helps a lot. And, um, Jason, I listen to the Super Being recordings when I can. Okay. Um, my situation is, um, a little over a year ago, I was doing okay financially, and all of a sudden, um, I was a caregiver and lost my job in 24 hours. And after that, it's like, I can't get ahead. I'm, I'm in this, um, this rut. And I faced age discrimination. I'm, I'm in my 50s. And um, no matter what I do, it seems like I, I'm going one step forward, two steps back. So, and... She's stuck, bro. What was that? I, yeah, this uh, telephone system is kind of rough for me to make out what anybody's saying, but... Um, She's basically saying um, she had some really bad times earlier in the year and nothing has changed and it's progressively gotten worse. Uh, and she's asking for help. So I'm, I'm pushing it over to you and then I'm going to address it. You know, yeah, uh, you know, it, it, it really boils down to the simplicity of, of that it's, you can't, you, you're in a powerful current and you're flowing along with it and you can, you know, flail about and, and try to keep above water and all that stuff. You can fight it all you want and uh it is going to change the thing. And so it's really all about the fight. And so what that comes down to is just letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go. It's just all about letting go. 
and so many people think that what that is is sort of giving up. And, you know, in a lot of ways it is. And you know, and, and uh, we've been programmed by Western culture to be like, oh, I will never give up, and it's just actually kind of the wrong way to think about anything at all. And um, it's like what you want to do is is if if you believe in and have a relationship with what people of religion call God or what I would call infinite mind, then then difficulties like that could be said to stem directly from the fact that you don't trust that infinite intelligence. And learning to trust that infinite intelligence will solve everything and will do it faster than anything possibly could. Okay, I, I, I heard part of that. <laughs> Good thing we have a replay feature. <laughs> yeah, you have a playback. And once you listen to the playback, because they just gave another of the week. I actually have a gotten back several times and listened to the replay. Yeah. The replays are uh, have been known to be as strong, if not stronger, than the live calls. But we still want people right. on the live shows. <laughs> <laughs> no, they get stronger through use. Right. But I'm just going to have something to uh, give. I'm actually going to move to Florida. I stay with one daughter now because I don't make, I make a minimum wage, 20 hours a week. That's ridiculous. And um, everywhere I go, it's just like, either the job is something I, I'm not qualified for, or it's it's another um, minimum wage paying job at part time. All right, I, I'm going to let you in on a little secret to kind of help speed along okay. with what Jason was saying. Your blockage, okay, you're what we call rooted, um, um, ungrounded, although... So it, it, it's typical you take, you know, a step forward uh, and you take three steps back. Or if you are able to maintain forward momentum, you are presented with door after door. And each door you go through, you have more doors open up, which lead to more nothing. Does that kind of sound familiar with you? Yes, very. Now, for you, um, you know, right below your throat, near your right collarbone is the energy that's centrally keeping you locked in place. Do you, do you get rashes there? Do you get weird pain, anything physical? Uh, no. Okay. It's, it's rooted right there. So what I want you to do is get a glass of water. Okay. One second. Don't make me run. <laughs> <laughs> you better run. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> Jason might be infinite, but his time's not. <laughs> okay, I, I've got it. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm a, I want Jason to do this. Just um, put your attention on the water and, and do what you got to do, Jason. All right. Well, uh, if you can hear me, okay. Just cup your hands around the glass or container without touching it. Okay. Clear your mind completely. A big, a big part of what's going on with you is you think that things should be different, and um, you're the only person in the world that doesn't know how things should be. And so, um, just clear your mind, free yourself of expectation. And three, two, one, here it comes. Okay. Peter, explain exactly where that spot is because she needs to put a little bit of the water on it. Um, if you look at me um, on the screen, for you, here's your throat. You go down about an inch and over to the right, and it, it's right here where your collarbone is, and it, it's, it's down maybe three inches inside. So when you drink that water, just put your attention on that spot. 
and that spot will dissolve, thereby allowing you to become unrooted and move through those doors that um, are endless. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, you guys are awesome. So Be good. Thank you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> That one was fun. Those are uh, I love doing these live live things. They're just uh, yeah. they're very very cool. People are uh, really genuine. They are fun, and it is it's specific, which is good. Um, back to alchemy. Um, can you kind of give the three minute version of how we hooked up and uh, you know. Oh. Should we do another? <laughs> yeah. Hi, this is Peter. You're on live with me and Jason Davis. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. We can hear you. Who are you? This is Becky. Hey, Becky. What can we do for and you? I appreciate the show. Thank you. I just I want. Am I, on the landline, so I, I, hope it's I just want to. I just want to say that um, there's a tremendous support mechanism. Uh, obviously, Donna, uh, David Shear, Jeff Price, and others that um, make all of this possible. So, when you're thanking me or Jason, just extend your thoughts to them as well. Oh, I do, and I just love Donna. <laughs> and I, I've been praying actually for her daughter. Great. We're gonna we're gonna get back to that one in a little bit. So, what can we do for you, Becky? Well, I just I just wonder. You know, I have some of your computer programs, and I just I don't feel like that I'm doing or or um achieving what I've been trying to achieve. I, I, I'm trying to find a way to to have finances to come into my life so that I can continue to do what I feel like I'm led to do and not go to work for fifteen dollars an hour. What, if that makes sense. What what which ones are you currently working with? Well um the source. Okay, and and how are you, how are you utilizing that? What do you well, do? I mean, I just, I'm just doing everything I know possibly to use it, and I'm drinking a whole lot of water, Peter. Look, so, <laughs> but so, so far the finances have not come in. So what here, am I doing wrong? Here's the key to the source for, okay, and 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 I've explained this a lot of different times and sometimes people need to hear it a few times before it clicks. Um, you know where you are in your current situation and you have a manifestation about where you want to be, right? Yes. Okay. Worrying or having doubt about achieving those end results um, you know, are, are really not conducive to where you want to be. So when you're utilizing the source four, it's really, really important that your manifestation in your head is real and that you utilize any of your five senses that apply to it. And the more real it is, it comes you know, that much quicker into your reality. Now, being specific is good, but when the universe delivers your manifestation, it's always going to be more perfect than what your you know, human mind can conjure. So, you know, here, here's a little trick. I just, I, I did this on the Darius show, and it was wildly successful uh, a couple weeks back. And it was, it, it's not in the instruction manuals. I've never done it on, on this, this show live. Um, but I did it on his show, and the results were staggering. And basically, that is, um, you know, as you know, when you utilize Source 4 technology, you need to be in your place of power when you're sitting down and connecting with it, right? And you can't have distractions. You can't have the dog running around. Uh, sometimes it happens on the show. I think Donna's got a dog that runs around. It's kind of annoying, but I haven't said anything about that. <laughs> um, 
Come but, on, Donna, sideways. <laughs> but, you know, being non distractive is, is really the best way to fire it off. So, as a precursor to even approaching the software, very simply, you want to do a really quick breathing exercise. You want to breathe through your nose, and when you breathe in, you want to put yourself on the other side with no definitive definition to it, okay? And when you exhale, you want to exhale your current situation, okay? And you do that three times, okay? And then, and then, and only then, do you conjure up your manifestation in your head, and then you you connect with Source and you rock it. And I guarantee, guarantee you, you will see results using those few steps. You also have to remember there is no work involved in any of this except consciously directing your manifestation in, in case of the source for. Jason, you want to add to that? Um, no, not really. I mean, I, you know, the only thing that I would that I would add to it, and I guess it's just a juxtaposition of that, and that's that, you know, very few actually know what this means for them. Very few, probably one in about a hundred million, and um, and therefore, why people don't get what they want is because it is going to interfere with their growth and in in seeing to the needs of this you know this physical vessel is almost secondary to what really everybody wants to accomplish and so wanting things that don't happen you know just means that that you're not ready for it to happen it really is just that simple but what peter explained is sort of the reprogramming of the matrix itself and so it's, it's, it's as though you could either do what Peter just said or you just let go of any ideation of, what, of how you think your life and the world needs to be. Because once again, if you put your trust entirely in infinite mind, everything works out beautifully no matter what. And you just stop wanting. But that's, you know, that's just ancient Eastern thought. And so um, that, that's all I would add to it. Cool. Okay, that makes sense. So, here, here's an, an interesting question, Jason, for you. Um, you woke me up. You woke me up. Right. And I didn't ask for it. Okay. No, I'm, I mean, that's a sense, and, and I do. I wake up every day. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm talking. No, no. About what I'm going to be able to do, and I do believe it's all going to work out perfectly. Then it will. Next victim. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. Okay. Now I'm confused. Where were what? what? <laughs> well, you you were talking about how you got awakened, and I was the one that did it, and you had no conscious, you know, uh, impetus behind that, right? And so, that's just a comment on um, on how you know 99% of reality takes place way beyond the notice of people with conscious, you know, with the conscious mind, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's just all there is to it, and. Uh, and because of that, that trust is what the, is the most important part, really. Um, if you want to learn to levitate, you're going to have to learn to trust. I, I want to do, um, I want you, Jason, if you're up to it, to do, um, do an activation with everybody. Okay. Um, Sounds great. Do we want to use water? Or what do you want to do? Uh, water would be great. All right, everybody, you got to take a pee break. Now's the time. Yeah, from all that water you drank earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. I'm sticking to coffee, but I do have my glass of water. What does the coffee uh, do for you at 9.07 p.m. Eastern time? What are you saying? You know, I gotta go to bed. It's past my depends time, really. <laughs> <laughs> don't open doors like that. I can, uh, you know, you don't you don't want videos of my jokes. All right. 
You're on, bro. Rock it. Let's see. Let's make this about healing, and this ought to be an interesting exercise. There are, as we speak on this video call, there are, do I, Donna, am I seeing correctly that, that the number that pops up in that little chat box is the number that are tuned in live? Is that what that is? So um, the, the last I looked at 67, it's been increasing the whole time, which is cool. Um, the, the fact is, is that all 65, 64, 75 now, wow, that's cool. Uh, we're all in a circle, and we're in a circle both physically, and you could say that it's kind of a circle, but, but on other levels of mind, which happen to be truer levels of mind, uh, because this is, like it or not, a completely fictitious level of being. So the, the higher level us, some would call it a spirit, I just call it a section of psychology, uh, are all in a circle, and that means that we're amping up energy as we speak, just because we're together doing it. And in playback mode on YouTube, anybody that is listening to it is probably listening to it simultaneously with, I don't know, maybe a dozen other people or something. And without even knowing it, you and that dozen people are together in a circle in playback, amping up power, uh, amping up energy, and you just don't even know that it's happening. And that's really how this world works. And so because this world is just literally a contaminant. Anybody that is in it is also a contaminant. And that means that the, the work to keep one's astral bodies clear, to keep fields clear, to keep chakras clear, to, to, to make that be as, you know, as pristine as possible would take all day every day to do it. That's why Peter has tools. That's why I have alchemical tools. What we offer, what we do, is all about making Western culture an easier way to keep uh, all bodies uh, clear, clean, and tuned, if you will. And so that means, in saying all that, that there is a need at all times for healing. It never goes away. Everybody needs to be healed. Even It doesn't have to be a broken leg or a cut or an illness, condition, or whatever. It can just be anything that needs to be cleared away from, from the subtle bodies. And clearing it away from the subtle bodies is how to handle it on the physiological level anyway. And so what we're going to do is just have everybody um, get quiet, get empty, close your eyes. Just allow yourself to get empty. Uh, any thought that you have, just uh, don't fight it. Just, just return your attention to this call. And get in a mode of acceptance. And in that mode of acceptance, think to yourself, I accept. The, that's one of the other great secrets. By the way, we have given away some of the greatest secrets to you know, the universe that we live in, in this call. And um, in that mode of acceptance, what it is is that you're just saying, I am willingly giving myself over to the cessation of resistance of any kind, and, and resistance is the problem with everything, and, and think of what you would like to have healed. Just hold it in your mind for just a moment, and then let it go. And what we're going to do is use the entire circle here. There are about 80 people in here now. We're going to use the entire circle. Everybody's energy is going to go into this as I do a countdown. And what you're doing with your intent is you are sending healing energy to everybody but you. Does that make sense? So here we go. Countdown, sending every energy to everybody but yourself. You're thinking as completely selflessly as you can. Three, two, one, open your heart and send it.
And go ahead and drink that water. Use it for anointing too on your chakras. It'd be a good idea. That flow into a central hub, Peter. Yeah, that was uh, that was very humbling, and <laughs> very cool. I guess I don't need my coffee anymore tonight because I'm going to be up all night for that one. <laughs> Jason, I, I got something right here. I don't know what, like, massive. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's you know, interestingly enough, of course, everybody can sit there and think they would want healed, but what needs to be healed is actually what's going to happen. You know, so yeah. despite what everybody thinks and believes, it's never true, and, uh, and you know, higher minds are going to take care of it no matter what. You just have to be open to it and let it flow. Amen. Right on. Um, but, yeah, part of your brain is getting worked on, as far as I can see. Right. Now I'm starting to light up. Wow. I want to have some fun with some people. We need some more guinea pigs. 203, <laughs> 456. Who just called you? Oh, 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 uh, I don't know. <laughs> 203 456 8155. Just step up and be a test subject. Oh, there you go. Universe provides. That's magic. Always. <laughs> Hi, you're live with uh, Jason and Peter. Who is this? Migraine. Migraine? What? Oh, no. Uh, I'm sorry, can you say that, your name one more time? Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Barbara Love calling. Hi, Barbara. Hi, this is Peter. It is, how are you? Oh, yes. Hi, Jason is. Uh, he's here. Okay. Well, I wanted to ask you guys was oh I'm so nervous. Okay, when I first when I you're when nervous. I, I'm nervous. Was connected with you. Oh. I uh, wanted the software. I I wasn't working. I didn't have any money. And then on top of that, I needed to get a new computer to run it on. And so wherever you would be appearing, I would make sure I charge like a gallon of water. So I've been drinking this <laughs> water for months and months and months. And then I, the job came through, the money was coming through. So now my brain is calm enough to actually do what I think I was put here to do, and I love the words. When I'm thinking about it, all the information just flowed very calmly. It just flowed. And then when I get ready to like put it on paper or record it, my mind goes sort of like a jump start because this idea I have, it's needed, it will be perfect, I will be great at it. But I can't seem to get past um, something that's keeping it from flowing, like it flows in my head when I'm just thinking about it. Well, you know, you came to one-stop shopping. One size fits all. Um, okay. <laughs> that one's going to be for Jason, because I already know he's cooking something up in his head. I I didn't even hear half of what she said. Ah, oh, throw it back on me. Um, Barbara, get a um, glass of water, please. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my God! There's a lot of water drinking going. <laughs> Okay, so 
didn't flush your toilet, did you? Okay, kidding. <laughs> 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 Leave that to the patch. Okay, I'm going to have a glass of water. All right, raise your left hand over that glass of water three inches and spread your fingers. Yeah. Let me know when you feel that energy running down through your hand into the water. I feel it now. Put your attention on the water and repeat the words out loud, I honor the space in which you exist. I honor the space in which you exist. Let me know when that energy flow increases through your hand into the water. Yes, the palm of my hand feels cool now. Okay, now when you drink that water, okay, just direct it right into your heart opening and then tell us about the taste and the texture of it, please. Go ahead. Direct it, when I drink the water, direct it to my heart. Yeah. And, and then what was the last thing? And then tell us about the taste and the texture of it. Oh, okay. Here goes. You know, if I had a dime for every time the phone rang tonight, I could retire. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that beep is? Velvet, please. Very smooth, like, like velvet. That's what came to mind, like velvet. So you just sit with that, and you get back to Donna in a couple days and let us know how it makes out for you, okay? Okay. Thank That's you. Good. You're very welcome. I have a, I got a special request. Um, hang on one second. I'm just going to have this person call in. And um, Jason, you'll recognize this particular person. Okay. Hey, bro. You're on the air. Hello. How are you, man? I heard uh, I heard special request, and then I got offline because I'm uh, on my phone, so I cannot see what's going on on, uh, on the computer. Jason, do you recognize that voice? It's vaguely familiar, yeah. That'd be Mr. Sonny Marlar. Oh, good. Hey, Famous Sonny. Film director. Uh, Graces our presence tonight. <laughs> Jason, I miss you. I really have to. See you too, I buddy. I really needed to call. What's going on, man? Um, just got back from Nashville, where I uh, was offered to direct a, another film. Nice. And uh, Peter and I are working on something that I don't know if Peter's announced it, so I won't announce it quite yet. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. It's a, it's a good time now. Um, well, I'm putting together a budget uh, for us to... Um, I met some guys that have a tour bus, and we are going to tour with a buddy of mine who um, some may recognize from certain movies and television shows named Sean Ferris and myself um, to, uh, to finish up a documentary I did years ago um, where I went to Peru, and when I came back, I met Jason and I met Peter, and I interviewed the two of them. And it illuminated me in such a way that uh, uh, it felt as though my back was able to uh, be abstract in a sense. I can't explain it. Of course, none of us can truly explain it with words. But uh, Peter and I are going to finish the documentary by by taking a young man, John Ferris, who... Um, who is at rock bottom needs that, that that spark of light to awaken and myself who has um, had that spark of light come in and out since his transformation and reignite all of us as we tour across America and we hit Mount Shasta where we will connect with um, our 
well, through our guide, Peter, and stop by and see Jason, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it could be a, it's going to have two different kind of uh, uh, ways that it's going to be edited. One is for a television show based on Peter and, and, and possibly Jason. And then uh, uh, one's going to be edited for a documentary to be sold to whoever wants to buy it to the distribution company. Congratulations, man. That sounds like a blast. Well, you're going to be part of the journey. You just don't know it yet, so. <laughs> and yeah, so I wasn't quite sure if I was coming up because Jason, you're yeah, you're definitely a a big a big chunk of what we plan to do. You might be able to drag me out of hiding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter's dragged me out of my cave a lot. <laughs> Oh, I can wow. be very persuasive. Sonny, thanks for uh, sharing that, bro. Yes, of course, and I hope I wasn't too winded or, or talk too long. I, I, I miss you, Jason. I miss you, Peter. Peter, I'll be in touch. I'll send you some budgeting soon. Come on, bro. Be good. All right. All right. Bye, guys. You later, Sonny. Good talking to you. So, um, yeah, this, this, this call, we were going to kind of do a formal announcement at some point, but basically... Um, it's going to be five or six grown men in a 40-foot RV uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> traveling across the country, um, doing amazing things and being filmed behind the scenes. Um, you'll really get a sense of self, of, you know, what we do raw uh, and, and really unbridled up front. Um, we're all very, very funny, um, but... You know the, the 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 part about living in a an RV with six grown men for three weeks. I just I got to get past my fears on that. But I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> this adventure is going to probably start in Greenville, South Carolina, um, and take us to some amazing places. If we do the northern route um, or we do the southern route, we'll probably be hitting some reservations. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, amazing work along the way. It's all going to be documented, and then we're going to wind up at Mount Shasta, where I've never been. Um, and I, I don't honestly know what what's going to come out of any of this. I just know um, it's going to be mind-blowing. Uh, Sonny is a master film director. Um, he has an eye for the camera. Uh, I think he probably makes more love more to his camera than he does to his girlfriend, but I won't say that live on the thing, but he's just... Did I just say that? Anyways, he's he's um, absolutely amazing uh, in front of the camera, and of course we're we're gonna drive by Jason's place and just grab him and and, and take him with us for a few days. Are we <laughs> kidnap him for eternity like he did me? You see, I used to be normal. Now I'm not normal anymore. Payback's <laughs> a bitch, buddy. <laughs> Dang, right. knew it. We are. Nearing the end of our time together, Donna, what do we got going on? Do we have any questions from anybody? You know what? The YouTube has done something pretty funky tonight and has disabled our comments, which is why you didn't see me sharing any comments. So, I, um, folks, if you make comments in YouTube, we are unable to see them because YouTube have dis disabled comments from this video, and I'll check that out. I'm not sure what that is. Um, what YouTube move that's about. But, um, you know, again, just want to let everyone know that, um, you know, lots of major things coming up with um, Modern Day Mystic, and as you heard, that was just one of them with Peter doing the more touring. He's been, he's been traveling, so he'll be heading out west. 140 miles an hour in southern yeah. Alabama. 7.30 in the morning with my hair on fire is the bomb. <laughs> but I, I won't say that, though. <laughs> Especially when you got some of them ding-dongs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. We're going to encourage you to drive a little bit slower coming out. But, um, yeah, so lots of good things. Of course, you know, with the 12th Project, we have debuted that today. That is very, very exciting. And um, definitely go to the website because there are lots of specials on that. 33 off show. 
And, um, and, and for the bundle, Peter, do we have a special code for the bundle? Uh, I'm sorry, what? A special code for the bundle. They wanted to uh, get the bundle. 33 off show works for um, the, the, the soft project and the, and the bundle. Perfect. Uh, if you get the bundle in the next 48 hours, I am putting in the Chakra Clearing 2, which is not listed on there. That is a $197 value. I'm just throwing that in there as well. Um, we, um, Donna and, and myself, have been working on, on something we've never done before, and it's going to be really, really interesting. We're putting together uh, a master class of teachings, um, similar to the workshops, but different. There's going to be eight of them put together in a really amazing bundle. Uh, you can pick and choose what you want to do. It'll, it'll basically be um, a predetermined night once a week. Uh, we'll probably be starting this um, in the next few weeks when, when we get everything together. Um, each particular class will be, have a certain topic and we'll follow a very tight pattern on what we're presenting, the material, and expected changes um, to those. So it, that is going to be the master class. Um, we'll be talking more about that in, in the upcoming weeks, but uh, we're, we're really starting to get very excited for that. That delivers um, very potent information. So, Jason, how can people get a hold of you? And what are your final comments? Final comments. Wow. Cool, cool night, a lot of fun. Um, it's all energy. And it's like, how do, how, do, how do I explain this? You know, people talk about you know, words like frequency all the time, but, but maybe a good way to put this is that, is that what, you, what you want to do with frequency is understand that the higher your frequency on all levels of your being, most of which you're not even aware of, but you are a part of a frequency gestalt, sort of like a rainbow where, you know, you do in fact affect what a lot of people would call higher self. And, and so what you want to do with frequency is get it up so that you can open yourself more and more to wisdom and knowledge, and that's it. The higher your frequency, the more you know, the more you're expanded. And that's really about all through it. And uh, I would say that thought has more to do with, with limiting or reducing your frequencies than almost anything else. It's thought and emotion. In fact, without question, those two things do more of it than anything. So if you, for instance, were um, you know, taking into your body really low frequency substances of any kind is probably having a far less of an effect on your on your system than just your thinking and your emotions. And so knowing that thoughts are actual entities that they can be seen and communicated with on other levels of mind is a very important thing to understand and therefore mind your thoughts. Uh, yeah, I'd like to add to that too. Um, be very careful what you wish for, or you'll wind up like me and Jason. So just <laughs> <laughs> be very nice. you know, like, as you pointed out earlier, you didn't wish for it at all; it just happened. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> I want to grow up and be like me. <laughs> well, it's one of those kinds of things. It's where you just eliminate wishing from your life altogether, and you'll yeah. get everything you need. <laughs> right on. Great, Jason. Thank you, bro. Uh, amazing time. Always fun. <laughs> Always fun. Uh, Donna, thank you very much. What? Well, Good night, folks. Hi, Mary B. The super beings. Oh, super beings. Wait, wait, wait. What were you going to say about Super yeah, Beans? Yeah, thesuperbeans.net. And if you can't hear that for whatever reason, get a hold of these guys and they'll tell you where to find me. Superbeings.net. You can find him there. Thesuperbeans. Thesuperbeans. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Donna. Talk Good night, Jason. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Peter. Good night, everyone. See you next Sunday, 8 p.m. Good night, everyone.